Commencement is a word of French origin, which means the beginning of something. It is a good thing to know that graduation day is called commencement exercises for us to be reminded that this day is not the end game, but a fresh start of life's new chapter. Good afternoon and welcome to Ongos Integrated National High School Third Commencement Exercises with the theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Pagtataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan. On this awaited day, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the graduating class of school year 2019-2020. General Academic Strand, Grade 12, Gas A. Grade 12, Gas B. Technical Vocational Livelihood. Grade 12, Home Economics. Grade 12, Information and Communications Technology. Let us give a big hand to the faculty members and administrative staff of the most integrated national high school. Let us give a warm round of applause to the Principal Free of the most integrated national high school, Mrs. Yuleni R. Cortales, and to our town mayor, Honorable Diana Abigail D. Aquino. To formally start our program, Please feel a few moments of solemnity for our opening prayer to be led by Mrs. Mercedes A. Resplendor and let us show our humble submission and respect for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, Lalawigan ng Quezon and Real Hymn through audiovisual presentations. Pangalan ng Ama, ng Hanak, ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Pagpupuri at pasasalamat ang aming sinasamo sa iyo kapangyarihan at kapagmahal na Ama. Noong araw ng pagtatapos ng mga mag-aaral ng Senior High School na Umos, Integrated National High School, ay isang napakabiyaya at napakalagang araw na iyong kaloob sa bawat isa. Salamat po sa lahat, sa mga magulang, mga guro, punong guro at lahat ng kawani ng paaralan. Gayun din sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral na kasamang humabi at nag-ambag ng kanilang talino at kakayahan upang umabot sa araw ng pagtatapos. Lahat po ng ito ay patunan ng iyong labis na pagmamahal sa amin at sa bawat isa sa amin. Sa iyo po nagmula ang lahat ng ito at muli ay niyahandog namin sa iyo ang aming natamong tagumpay. Gabayan mo po ang, ang mga batang ito sa kanilang panibagong buhay na tatahakin. Bantayan, sa lahat ng oras at ilayo sa hirap at sakit. Ilumin mo po ang bawat isa pang noon. Maraming salamat po. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Sa sibuyan, sa namin kong pagraw Ay hirap ang 
may dagat na bughaw Bundok ng Sierra Madre kay gandang pagmasdan At may sariwang hangin kay sarap lang ngapin Halina't mamasyal dito sa aming bayan Magagandang tanawin, tara na at dalawin Bundok, ilog, talon at mga playa Isama ang pamilya, mag-relax at magsaya Ay laging pangalagaan Tatandang palagi Pakaingatan Ilog, bundok, at dagat Ating kayamanan Iyan Labayan ko Tunay ka tone for this afternoon's event, let us welcome our dear principal, Mrs. Yolene R. Portales, for her welcoming remarks. Let us give her a round of applause. Isang mainit na pagbatis ng mga mag-aaral na nagsipagtapos ngayong taong 2019-2020. Ito ang katupara ng pangarap ng inyong mga magulang. Isang regalong handog para sa kanila. Ito rin ang hudyat ng panibagong pakikipagsapalaran at umpisa sa mas malaking hamon sa buhay. Lagi pakatandaan ang pagkakaroon ng positibong pag-iisip at pananaw para sa pagpapatuloy ng pakikibaka ninyo sa isang mas malaki pa na hamon sa inyong buhay. Taus-puso po ang aking pasasalamat sa kolaborasyon ng mga magulang, mga guro, sa stakeholders, sa community, sa LGU, sa inyo pong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Mrs. Portales, for your inspiring message. At this point, please allow me to read the uplifting message of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Catherine P. Talavera. School works and activities are over. At long last, you will be free from waking up early in the morning to go to school and religiously attend to your school activities. Your parents and guardians, I am very sure they are very happy for your achievement. They are also happy for they will temporarily cease the provision of your daily allowance and other school needs in order to prepare you for the next steps of life you will take. Be happy and at the same time be responsive and responsible. You will no longer hear your school principals and teachers providing you instructions and guidance because your formation with them ends today. You will definitely miss the early morning flag ceremony where you enjoy dancing to the tune of your school's favorite music for your morning exercises. Cleaning the classrooms and the school surroundings is another thing you will miss. You will no longer see every day your classmates who once became part of your growing up because you have reached the final stage of your formation in your institution, your second home. As you leave the portals of your alma mater, 
try to have a final glimpse of your momentous events in this school. Recall the day when you first entered your school campus up to the time you're about to leave it for another environment you deserve. Then ask yourself, am I the same person since I first entered the gate of this school? Or am I now a grown-up person equipped with necessary life competencies? It is my greatest hope that today, as you complete your program, you are ready to face the world because you have acquired the essential knowledge, relevant skills, and desirable values that will serve as your weapon in living a meaningful life. Living a meaningful life is actually a realization of DepEd's theme for this occasion. Sulong Edukalidad Pagtataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan or Sulong Edukalidad Championing the Nation's Future. As you move forward and embrace the next milestone of your life, take courage of proving your worth as individuals who are makadyos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. Always bear in mind that opportunity comes and you need to grab this chance for you to constantly grow as persons who are productive members of the community and the nation in general. As you close this milestone in your life, our dear graduates and completers, be thankful to God for His infinite goodness, guidance, and blessings. Be grateful also to those people behind your success for without them, you will never reach this stage of your life. Please accept my greetings of congratulations on your graduation or completion rites. May the Lord continue to guide you in whatever path you will take after this momentous event. May this occasion remind you that every moment is an opportunity to serve, an opportunity to love. Thank you. Our dearest graduates, the moment that you have been waiting for has finally come. The fruit of your hard work and discipline will finally be ripped. You will now receive your prize as the symbol of your accomplishment. To start with the presentation of graduates, let me call on Mrs. Maria Theresa C. Palacio, the advisor of Great Wall Gas Aid. May I present to you the graduates of General Academic Strand, Grade 12, Section. Akinder Rea D. Armada Maria Justin May S. Beriso Laris U. Borja Jessa B. Work Immersion Award. Bulawan Lalane C. Work Immersion Award. Kabilin Honey Dublin Rose B. Work Immersion Award. Dalinato Ivy Joyce S. With Honors. Andresa Maria Cristaline L. Work Immersion Award. Mercado Renalin C. Work Immersion Award. Exemplary Conduct Award. Morelia Nancy. With Honors. Work Immersion Award. Oraya Jenica O. Portinero Pauline T. Great Honors, Exemplary Conduct Award, Work Immersion Award. Ramos Anili A. Great Honors, Work Immersion Award, Exemplary Conduct Award. Asis Mag Lennox Evander D. Asoge John Lawrence C. Boribor Erwin A. Exemplary Conduct Award Calzado Kenneth M. Grade Honors Work Immersion Award Chavez Francis Mark E. Colete John Ray B. Work Immersion Award Corpus Mark Aaron B. Demesa James B. Fortunado JBB with Honors Work Immersion Award. Gabor Dylan James C. Garcia Alfred B. Work Immersion Award. 
Hermina Juan Miguel A. Lavinia Kim C. Lerio Ronel O. Mamogay John Lord P. Pansilia Jano C. Boy Immersion Award. Portis Mark Junwell R. With Honors, Boyd Immersion Award. Padua Ralph Lawrence A. With High Honors, Exemplary Conduct Award, Boyd Immersion Award. Ramos J. Mar A. Boyd Immersion Award, Exemplary Conduct Award. Rosales Mark Lionel B. Sapo Aris R. Santa Ana, John Rick A. Tabuso, Christopher L. Valdez, Ron E. Kita, Jeric S. With Honors, Work Immersion Awardee. Congratulations! Let us have now Ms. Athiela Gnil M. Astoveza, the advisor of Grade 12 Gatsby. May I present to you the graduates of General Academic Strength, Grade 12 Section. Abarino Rose Anderson. Alcaldesa Julie Ann A. Work Immersion Award. Andaya Joan O. With Honors. Work Immersion Awardee, Exemplary Conduct Award. Paris Kimberly F. Work Immersion Award. Patalia Angelica R. Nana Obra Jessamy R. Esclanda Ronet G. With Honors, Work Immersion Award. Gamba Martin F. Yanera Dina M. Nevada Cheryl N. Pasco Angelis. Benyamante Abadu. Desumen Angelica N. Rodriguisa Angelis H. Work Immersion Award. Exemplary Conduct Award. Tropicalis B.L. with Honors Work Immersion Award. Valier E. Rochelle R. Villa Flor Maricel C. Villa Cis Lenin. Avila Dan Cartel N. Work Immersion Award. Pandejas Raymond C. Pandejas Rodelo Jr. H. Cadano No Merchi. Katapangan Dayron C. Veterala Jasper C. Ial Alvin C. Domingo Danford R. Manalo Glenn Renier R. Napa Bon Lawrence E. Polido Ren Lennon E. Rejuso Remuel E. Santelian Romel E. Lena Jeric F. Toreris Edwin E. Valenzuela Jervin E. Velasco Jervin E. Vertudes Gerald R. The next class to be presented is Grade 12 Home Economics, handled by Mrs. Isa P. Likayan. 
Let me present to you the graduates of Technical Vocational Livelihood Track Grade 12 of Home Economic Strand. Aventano Mylin Joy F, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry, with honors, White Immersion Awardee and Exemplary Conduct Awardee. Ascaraga Claire Ann, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Baduria Maricel M, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry, White Immersion Awardee. Banaria Ruth Shane M, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry, White Immersion Awardee. Capacho Emeline D, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Chavez Pauline Stephanie C, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry, White Immersion Awardee. Hugo Vigilaita M, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Exemplary Tandak Awardee Sagra Clarice P NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Salayo Mary Joy C NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Presbytero Isa G NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Joselio Cecil Joy P NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry with honors, White Immersion Awardee. Rafon Joyce and C, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Recipe and M, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. San Juan Jean L, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry with honors. White Immersion Awardee Sarte Argel H NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Sarte Argel H NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Bonita Oliver T NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry Gallarda Alvin H NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry with honors, White Immersion Awardee and Exemplary Conduct Awardee. Hugo Erickson A, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Inocentes RBA. Los Loso Jan Eric C, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Morales Romel O, NC2 Passer in Bread and Pastry, with honors, White Immersion Awardee. Peralta Roger C, NC2 Passer in Bread and Pastry, White Immersion Awardee. Saniel Glenmark B, NC2 Passer in Bread and Pastry, White Immersion Awardee. Villaraza Richmond C, NC2 Passer and Bread and Pastry. Last but not the least, let me call on Mr. William P. Inte, the advisor of Grade 12 ICT. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the graduates of Technical Vocational Livelihood Track, Grade 12 Information and Communication Technology Strand. America Lady May V, NC2 Master in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Amore. Astagesa Minso Joyce May, NC2 Master in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Amore. Barasi IVL, NC2 Master in Computer System Servicing, with high honors, Work Immersion Amore, Exemplary Conduct Amore. Andresa Marigold L, NC2 Passer in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Awarding, Exemplary Conduct Awarding. Pinyamanti Nesson May L, NC2 Passer in Computer System Servicing. Pilomeo Shella May B, NC2 Passer in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Awarding. Rapsing Elaine C, NC2 Master in Computer System Servicing. Almar Mars Lawrence B. NC2 Master in Computer System Servicing. Amido 
John Paulo S., MC Professor in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Awarding, Exemplary Conduct Awarding. Danyaris Jamie M., MC Professor in Computer System Servicing. Mapa J. R., MC Professor in Computer System Servicing. Jorge Alberto Jr. M., MC Professor in Computer System Servicing. Rapio Mark Joseph V., MC Professor in Computer System Servicing. Soreta Austin John Singh, MC2 Master in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Awardee, Exemplary Conduct Awardee. Victoriano Ronaldo A., MC2 Master in Computer System Servicing, Work Immersion Awardee, Exemplary Conduct Awardee. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Great 12 Advisors. Without your love, support, and hard work, the journey of our dear graduates would be difficult. At this juncture, we are honored to receive the words of encouragement from the person who dedicates her life not only in serving our community, but most of all in promoting good education for our young people. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to Honorable Diana Abigail D. Aquino. public and private schools, daycare, preschool, elementary, senior high school, college, pati yung nag-postgraduate studies, congratulations sa inyo lahat. Um, let me just start with this. Tayo ay nasa kakaibang panahon. Had it been a regular season or a regular setting, uh, you will experience the much-awaited graduation rites. It's supposed to be the graduation of my nephew also, Marcos, pero pansamantala, pinagpaliban din yun. It is now a, a different era that instead of personal dealings, it is becoming virtual. Salamat na lamang dahil ngayon may access tayo sa internet. Wala tayo ibang paraan kundi limitahan ang ating pagkilos upang maiwasan ang paglaganap ng COVID-19, lalo na sa ating minamahal na bayan. Sa buhay, napakaraming mga sakripisyo ang kailangan nating gawin para sa kabutihan ng mas nakararami. Ngayon, sa inyo na mas mga nakababata, ang mga halimbawa ng mga sakripisyo inyong dapat gawin ay yung kagaya nga nito, pagpapaliba ng graduation ceremonies, ang simpleng pananatili sa bahay, pansamantalang pag-iwas muna sa markada, pwede pa namang online, pero yung umpukan, pagkikita, pagpipiknik, at syempre, kasama na rin sa ating sakripisyo bilang Pilipino. At dapat natin gawin ay yung mahigpit natin pagsunod sa atas ng ating pamahalaan. Yes, all the news about COVID-19 brings great amount of fear, discomfort, restlessness, and sadness because of the restrictions or limitations that the government impose for the welfare of all. Lalo na kapag nakabalita tayo ng may namamatay, at kung ano-ano pa. But it must not diminish your sense of being accomplished and the level of gratitude in your heart for having been able to graduate. So, cheer up! Congratulations sa inyong lahat! Um, huwag niyong kakalimutan yun. We, you may have missed the graduation rites, but still, you are graduates. Um, and I think the most important gift during this period from our Lord is that I am able to greet you and you are able to receive this message. It means that we are alive and healthy. That's the most important thing. So, marami tayong dapat ipagpasalamat sa gitna ng pagsubok na ito. Marami tayong mahalagang uh, tutunan at matutunan pa. Because there's always a silver lining. 
During this period of enhanced community quarantine and global crisis, you are stuck with your loved ones. You have a time to communicate more and to bond. Read your favorite books, listen to fav your favorite music, write, draw, clean your stuff, organize, plan uh, for your goals for the next 5 to 10 years. Natuto rin tayong mabuhay sa sapat lamang na mga pangailangan. We were able to rule out or let go of the unnecessaries like bad habits, spending things on things that are not necessary for survival. Also, we unconsciously let our mother nature rest from all the pollution brought by human activities. We are able to see the value of sharing what we have and being able to appreciate all the sacrifices that are being made by the frontliners to keep us safe. Most importantly, we have more time to reflect on God's promises and the salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially this Holy Week, sabi ko nga, um, di muna, wala muna ng picnic hanggang April 30, sarado pa rin ng mga resorts, yung mga usual na ginagawa kapag Holy Week. Gawin na natin yung pinaka-dapat ginagawa pag Holy Week. To reflect on God's Word, read the Bible, pray, and most especially, dwell in the promises of God, which is surely unchanging. Really, the graduates, I pray for you to be better than the previous generations. I pray that you will be better than my generation. And to be the most compassionate about working on better health and environment for the well-being of all. Well, as long as I am here, I'll do my best to protect and serve you. I vow to always exert my best efforts as your mayor. I thank all the LGA personnel, barangay officials, and all the frontliners for keeping up with me and making sure that we perform our mandate despite our limitations. But again, graduates, teachers, parents, we must take part in creating this, making this town safe and progressive more than ever. Sabi ko nga, yung lesson ng COVID-19, sana mabitbit natin sa kinabukasan. Some say that many of the youth or those who are part of the younger generation are now used to bashing, ranting, and being plain critics. Pero alam ko, iba ang kabataan ng yalenyo. We know how to speak up, but we do not forget the most important part. We speak up, but we also move. We take part and share our own special ways in serving God, serving our country, and our barangays, and our families. Ask yourself, do not forget to ask yourself, what can I do? What can I do? Ano yung pwede kong gawin sa makakaya ko ngayon para makatulong ako sa lipunan? Gano'n man kasimple. You can help the world in ways you never know. And it will only happen if you try. To all the teachers, maraming salamat po sa inyong mga sakripisyo. Um, alam ko malaki po yung adjustment ninyo ngayon dahil from the regular setting, kailangan natin adjust. Balita ko, may mga virtual activities po tayo para uh, matapos itong ating mga activities sa school, graduation, iba pa. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Um, sa mga magulang at, at guardians po ng mga kabataan nating graduate, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Nagbunga po ang inyong sakripisyo, pagkatrabaho para maitagoyin ang inyong mga anak at inyong kaanak. Mga kababayan, 2020 is not our usual year. It is um, a difficult year. 
Pero mabuti po ang Diyos at malagpasan po natin ito. Muli, congratulations 2020 graduates. I'm very proud. Thank you, Honorable Aquino, for your heart-striking message. At this point, let us give our attention to the representative of the graduating students for his message. A big hand for Mr. Ralph Lawrence A. Padua of G12 Gasly. Distinguished guests, family, friends, to our beloved Principal 3, Ms. Yuleni R. Portales, faculty members, department heads, non-teaching personnel, viewers, and most of all, no other than my grateful fellow graduates of the school year 2019-2020, together with their proud parents, good day. First, I want to congratulate all of us. I know that this is not an easy journey, but we made to pass through it. And because of that, let's give ourselves a round of applause. I am Ralph Lawrence A. Padua from the General Academic Strand A and I am well pleased and honored to speak and represent on behalf of the 114 graduates of Omos Integrated National High School Batch 2020. According to Plato, a Greek philosopher, he said, If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. Two years passed by since our journey in senior high school began. In that two years, we faced many challenges and hardships in line with our competency which nurtured and honed our talents and skills. Sometimes we failed, disappointed, and we felt despair. It created in our minds doubt and confusion that stumbled us. We created stories of our own through educating ourselves in different ways. I remember in times that we became lazy, hard-headed, and annoying. To the teachers of UINHS, our batch troubled with, sorry, we built a lot of memories around the four corners of every room, and also in our own hearts and minds. It's either happiness or sadness with our friends, classmates, and even our teachers. In spite of this, more importantly, the lessons that we learned matters, that made our experiences more exciting and memorable. We are the hope of the whole world, our dream community, and the future generations. We have our own capabilities to think and to act ethically all our own. And when we are in the future, do not forget our loved ones, alma mater, and our supporters. This is a new chapter, a new beginning, and a new opportunity in our lives. We are a dreamer. Our lives doesn't end here. It is just an exit to face and deal with new challenges, new relationships that will strengthen and measure us. In the midst of trials, remember this quote from Alodi in the movie Warcraft. She said, from light comes darkness, and from darkness comes light. So continue your life and do not lose hope. Always be passionate and pray. When you are in the time of having great position and power in the near future, remember this. With great power comes great responsibility, according to Spider-Man. Again, be passionate and pray. This time, I would like to thank all the persons who supported us and helped us to achieve our dreams throughout this journey. To our dearly and beloved advisor, Ms. Teresa Palacio, to the almost integrated National High School family who guided and added knowledge and skills to us, classmates, viewers, to the Sincrapal Parish family, especially to God and my family, who serve as my inspiration and motivation. Don't neglect and be lame, rather, be passionate and prayerful. Once again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Padua, for your moving message. At this point, may we request Ms. Ivy L. Barassi from G12 ICT to lead the Pledge of Loyalty. 
pledge of loyalty to alma mater. We, the graduating class of 2020, on this day of our graduation, do hereby solemnly swear to uphold the principles for which our alma mater stands, to live up the noble expectation of our beloved parents and teachers, to dedicate our talents in fruitful service to the community and our God. Loyalty to our alma mater. Thank you so much, Ms. Barasi. There is always a special song for every memorable moment of one's life that embodies precious emotions. Friends, let us welcome the graduates for their graduation song to be conducted by Ms. Ivy Joyce S. Galinato of G12 Dasa.
heard the message of the Secretary of Education, Leonor M. Briones, to all of our graduates, please welcome the Senior High School Master Teacher and ICT Coordinator, Mr. William P. Inte. Let us give him a round of applause. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Office of the Secretary. My warmest greetings and congratulations to the graduates and completers of the school year 2019-2020. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are significant occasions for the graduates and completing learners as this mark the milestone of your education achievement. May these occasions inspire you to study harder for the fulfillment of your dreams and aspirations. Life may constantly offer you challenges, but you have to forge on. I salute the teachers, our unsung heroes, for molding the minds of Filipino youth and producing among these learners the much-needed knowledge and competencies under the K-12 Basic Education Program. Hours may be long and the prescribed duties may be exhausting, but shaping the future of this youth will definitely improve their lives. To the parents, we thank you for your sacrifices in attending to the needs of your children. Your guidance and support have helped build their confidence in themselves. You have exerted a powerful influence on their overall development. The theme of this year's and school rights, Sulong Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, is consistent with the department's call for the national effort towards quality basic education. DEPED is committed to providing you with the 21st century skills through the delivery of quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating basic education. We continuously strive to institute reforms in our educational system to ensure that you become globally competitive and able to meet the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. Again, congratulations. Sama-sama tayo sa pagsulong ng edukalidad Mabuhay. Sign, Yunor Magdules Briones. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Inte. On behalf of Ongos Integrated National High School faculty and administrative staff, we joyfully congratulate the graduates, their parents, and advisors. We leave you this quotation from Abraham Lincoln. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Wherever you go, create a beautiful future for you and for your loved ones. Thank you very much and mabuhay!